Eskin, I know you left me in charge, but I don't see why. The very first action you asked me to execute. Unnecessary, malicious, I could go on. I have to go. Call me the usual time. Malicious? That was a private conversation. You were talking to Kim? I heard you. Plus, she's the only person who puts you in a mood now that Joe's not with us. That might be about James if you don't curb your interest in affairs that don't concern you. Except that they do, because I work here. And I'm about to do our annual report for the Hot and Business Consortium. And I think they'll be very interested in our new management structure. Please, do we have to do this now? Oh, and I forgot to tell you that Debbie called you yesterday. Here? Yeah. Yep. Your phone, you left it in the drawer. I told you you were in a meeting, but she didn't want to leave a message. Need a couple of sandwiches for the. Well, caught being an idiot face. I haven't seen that one before. Debbie, then. So Priya told you that I called on Joe's phone. He forgot to take it when he left. Oh. So you thought you'd channel him? Put words into his fingers? I thought it would help. Sorry, you thought it would help? What did you think that was going to do for me? You've made everything worse. That wasn't my intention. I felt it needed so. By you or by him? Because let's face it, if you were really worried about my feelings, you could have told me the truth months ago, couldn't you? Your excuses aren't washing, so why don't you just go before you do any more damage? You're wrong, Debbie. Wherever Joe is, he will be regretting hurting you. You are? He wouldn't have left you at the hospital if he thought there was any way. You could have told him to stuff the money, job done. But he cared about his fake little life more than me. He loved you. Would you stop saying that? Because I am sick of you trying to justify him. Because it's true. Says who? And what do you know about love anyway, Graham? Because you didn't even love your own wife, remember? You got off your face on whiskey feeling sorry for yourself. Because you married her out of duty. Debbie. And then you killed her, didn't you? So, you know, that sorted that out. That's enough. No, I'm sorry. I'm sick of everyone telling me how deep Joe is. He is a self-obsessed little brat with no human emotions at all, and you made that worse. I did my best. You let Kim take control, and you let that happen. And do you know what I find really funny? How you go on about how he saved your life. It's all rubbish. You were probably on that payroll from day one. You were paid to love him. No. I said enough. Come on. I thought Joe was bad. But I'm telling you, you are way worse. I just feel like we need a paragraph about Joe going so it doesn't look weird. Mr. Joe Tate, former CEO of Waterhouse International, is taking a much needed opportunity for travel this year. So his successor, Graham Foster... Nobody cares. But they do, though. I mean, Joe had a whole feature in the last Business Consortium newsletter. Young Mr. Tate, relaxing with a game of chess. I mean, I could go into the whole Kim Tate thing, but seeing she's in prison... Priya. I just want to get this report done for our meeting. I'll wing it. Text from Joe. What were you thinking? I've already explained myself to Debbie. What possessed you? Debbie's the biggest victim in all this. Why don't you just leave her out of it? She was upset in the pub. I heard you and Charity talking. We were dealing with it. Didn't look like that. Rest assured. There'll be no more communication of any kind from Joe. What about the police? Hmm? What if they get wind of a text? What if they trace the phone back here? So you better make sure they don't. Me? Well, you've got more to lose than I have. You've got rid of the body. Then was right about you. Everything about your relationship was fake. A loyal servant, family retainer, or whatever you called yourself. You weren't looking out for Joe. It was about control, and, and you're still trying to do it now. Even when, when he's lying, him. Whatever grave you gave him, 
He's gone. Have some respect and leave him alone. I can, you can call me back when you get this, or I can just tell you now. I've tried to do the right thing, but it's just not possible. So, I've been thinking about the new regime. And you're right, we have to show them. This is how it's gonna be from now. No favours, no patronage, no allowances, no pity. We are here for better, for worse. We owe nothing to anyone.